what happened? It's time to say goodbye, wrote Fidesz Vice Chair Katalin Novat on Twitter after Hungary's ruling party left the European People's Party EPP on March 3rd. The decision correlated with new rules of procedure that allowed the centre-right bloc to vote for the exclusion of one of its members. The majority of EPP members voted in favour of the new rules. Only 28 voted against them, including the Fidesz MEPs, as well as six out of seven MEPs from Austria's People Party, ÖVP. In a letter to the EPP leader Manfred Weber, Prime Minister Viktor Orban called the change of rules a hostile move against Fidesz. How did it come to this? The final divorce between Fidesz and the EPP is the result of several years of tensions within the group, a conflict between the centrist and the right-wing members of the EPP. Hungary's ruling party had been subject of harsh criticism as the Central Eastern European country, among others, fell short on the rule of law. Fidesz leaders rejected all charges. In March 2019, the EPP suspended Fidesz. After the recent change of procedure, the party faced its final expulsion from the European family. What happens next? Well, already before Fidesz left the EPP, Viktor Orban has been very active in looking for like-minded allies in Europe. What he is doing resembles an escape ahead strategy. He has started negotiations with the European Conservatives and Reformists, shortly ECR, dominated by Poland's Law and Justice Party, PIS, and with the Identity and Democracy Group, dominated by Italian and French right-wing parties. The Hungarian Prime Minister is trying to unite these two fractions to create a strong and right-wing power within the parliament, also including parties such as the Austrian FPÖ and the German AfD. What does it mean for the EU? The EPP is still the biggest group in the parliament. If Orban succeeds, its power might face a stronger than ever counterweight. The voices of Eurosceptics and extreme right-wing fractions would raise a lot more attention in public discourse and might shape the general course of the EU. Observers say that even if these actors share certain attitudes towards Europe's future, the chances that the unification succeeds are relatively low. Altogether, Fidesz has only 12 MPs, which is a small basis in order to build up political power. Furthermore, the Hungarians would need to overcome existing divisions within the right-wing parties, such as the very diverse relations to Russia, for example. In any case, these developments show how Fidesz cuts its ties to previous conservative partners and continues its nationalist and Eurosceptic path.